Hello! Welcome to Tiger English Academy. I'm glad to see that you've come to practice English with me today. Let's get started. Our conversation today involves two colleagues having an ordinary day at work. Let's see how well you keep up. Hey Dana, let's get some lunch at Jumbo's. We've been working so hard all morning. It's about time we get something to eat. That's a great idea. I'm starving and Jumbo sure does look good right about now. Let's go before we run out of time. Right. We're due back at the office soon. Let's grab it to go. Hi, miss. Could you show us the menu, please? I don't see one. Hello and welcome. If you look at this board right here, you'll see all of our options for today. Take your time. Ooh. I'd like to order a triple super burger deluxe with lettuce, mayo, and extra pickles, please. And I'll take a triple super stacker hamburger and fries, please. We'll be taking these to go as well. Alrighty, your total is $3.98. Please follow the instructions on the keypad and we'll call you when your order is ready. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Hi everyone. Sorry we're a little late. We needed some lunch on our way back from our sales training. Yeah, it was brutal, but very rewarding. We sold 12 cars, if you can believe it. Who knew people would buy cars from their own homes? Wow, great job, guys. Wow, good for you. That takes me back to my first day. I couldn't sell anything for three whole months. I guess you guys must be prodigies. Ha! <laughs> prodigies? I don't think it's so much that they're prodigies as it is that they have a much better teacher than you had, that's for sure. Either way, we achieved a great result. I couldn't be more proud. After work, we should celebrate. I like that idea. What sort of place should we go to? I personally like to celebrate performance goals with a casual dinner. A casual dinner sounds good to me. It is Friday after all, and I'm ready to get comfortable for the weekend. Do you like Chinese food? Chinese food is one of my favorites. Let's head over to Yang Palace after 5 p.m. I'll meet you there after my final meeting of the day. Does that work for you guys? Sounds good to me. I'm excited for Chinese food. It's been a long time since I've gone out. Sounds good to me. I'll meet you all there. Yay! I'm so excited. I hope they aren't too busy tonight. Friday evenings are often quite crowded and loud. Yang Palace is an older place. It mostly has regulars and doesn't get crowded like the newer Chinese restaurants in town. A few months ago, my husband and I spent two hours waiting for seating at Crab Carnival. It's so popular, only the most dedicated customers can get it. I heard that their wait list is weeks long at this point. Wow, I don't bother with wait lists. I'd rather just cook at home and sit with a nice cup of tea while watching my favorite TV show. What do you think, Dave? Oh, you don't have to worry about me. It'll be fun tonight. We're going to go out and celebrate your first victories. All right, well, now that we've got that settled, we better finish up our lunch and get to our next meeting. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you later. Hello, everyone. I'm glad we all made it on time. It's five o'clock, so now let's relax and have a super nice dinner.
I hope you don't mind that we got here early and ordered before you got here. I don't mind. I'm happy the food's already here. There's nothing more welcoming than coming to a restaurant and seeing that there's already food ready for you. Tell me about what you ordered. I don't want to order any duplicates. So far, we've ordered tea, fried rice, and some dumplings. I think you'll really enjoy these. You might not want to order anything else. Ah, uh, feels good to sit after a long day of doing sales on my feet. Oh, I'm so excited to eat this yummy food with you guys. I'm glad you all came. I'm happy to be here today too, guys. I'm glad all of you came and wanted to celebrate with us. It really means a lot. Hey, Dave. Why don't you tell them about your very first sales job? <laughs> it was quite a laugh. Oh, I don't know about that. It's a little embarrassing. Now we have to know. You have to tell us, Dave. You can't leave it like that. Long story short, he slipped on a roller skate in front of someone's house. <laughs> he had to stop after 30 minutes and was subsequently hospitalized with a broken leg and was not able to do sales for a whole eight weeks. I guess now you know why I prefer being part of customer service rather than the sales team. <laughs> I do not miss those days one bit, but I am glad that you guys are very good at it. We should prepare some goals for this next quarter. Since we did so well today, it makes sense to record it as a benchmark for future progress. I think we should aim higher than we think we can do. That way, no matter what happens, we'll likely supersede any previous limitations. I like that. Aim for the stars, land on the moon. I like that. Since we did 12 sales so easily today, we should aim for 24 every day. What do you think? I like 24. That's a solid number for my mind to handle. When we reach 200 sales, we should go on a small weekend trip. I've always wanted to see Niagara Falls. Well, you've got my support. Cheers to the sales team. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. You guys. Cheers. <laughs> to a stronger quarter than we've seen before. We're so glad you came to celebrate with us today. To check us out next time, click here. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to have a good one.